Well, that was when I was originally going to wake up. Hello, I need to talk to you about an album, an artist, art. So I discovered the Japanese house through their debut album, Good at Fooling. This was thanks to a certain 1975 member, George Daniel, talking about how excited he was for this new debut album from the Japanese house to come out. Being myself, I was very intrigued by this artwork and the title, Good at Fooling, and the artist name, The Japanese House. It just got me curious and I instantly wanted to check out who this mysterious new music was all about. Now in my head I have some Hollywood memory that I was up at 2am listening to this album in the early hours of the morning in which it came out. However, I'm not too sure how much of that is actually just a fabrication in my head, but I know for sure that I did listen to this album the day it came out, maybe not that early in the day, but I was instantly hooked. I was instantly so excited to have found this new sound that just resonated with me. When the album came out, I was going through quite an introspective time kind of addressing certain aspects about myself. And then this album came along and it really spoke to me. Amber Bain, who is the individual behind the Japanese house, has spoken about in interviews how the album for her is quite introspective and reflective in her thoughts. And a lot of the time when she's writing her songs, she just writes the first thing that comes in her uh, conscious, so it's a, it's a very raw stream of thoughts, and I think that pays off and makes it really unique. It is really emotional and personal to Amber, and yet it's able to apply to a whole variety of different people who listen to her music. I think it's that kind of sharing of emotions and ideas and thoughts that I really like about creative mediums. The album is very raw, it is very personal, but it's also set to the backdrop to some quite mesmerising memories which at times are really upbeat and it's this juxtaposition which it's, it's an interesting contrast. I can listen to that album and it can get me feeling quite deeply and emotionally and then I can listen to it at other times and it really hypes me up and gets me energized but without a doubt it never fails to inspire me. When I listen to this album it just helps stimulate my brain. It, it helps me come up with ideas and just think. I actually find that this album I can't listen to it if I'm trying to read or for example, I'm doing this editing course where we literally have a manual of a book which we have to go through and read. I often listen to music when I go through that book, but I can't listen to this album because I find that a big part of me needs to be focused on the music itself. I can't just let it play in the background. But I think that's something that I really enjoy about this album. It is very connective and engaging. And so, three days after this album had come out, I was googling the Japanese house and so happened to find that they were going to be playing in Camden on the 19th of March. And so, two weeks after first listening to their album, I saw the Japanese house live, Amber Bain live with her band, and it was brilliant. She's a fantastic performer and it was a new way to experience her music. As she said in interviews when she's writing, it's a very personal, kind of introverted experience which she goes through. And then when she's playing live, it's quite an extroverted experience where you share those emotions with everyone else that's there. Maybe 
that can be applied to all music. I don't know, but I think there is definitely something unique in how personal the lyrics are and the emotion is and how such a big group of people in one place, which for us was, uh, was it the electric ballroom? Is it not gonna tell me? Electric ballroom. Everyone in the electric ballroom was able to connect to such personal lyrics. Yeah, I, I think that is unique. And it was definitely very special. Like I mean, to put it simply, Amber Bain herself is also just a brilliant performer. Not only did her lyrics and music connect to the audience, but she did herself. She was making eye contact with people and you could clearly see that although this, I keep saying, was a personal experience for everyone, she was having fun and everyone else was having fun, which I think for live music is probably one of the most important things, keeping people engaged and entertained and just simply having a good time. The Japanese house album, Good At Fooling, connected with me at a pivotal time in my life. I think for that reason, the Japanese house as an artist, but that album, Good At Fooling, specifically will likely stick with me for the rest of my life. And I'm very excited to be seeing Amber Bain perform live again at Latitude Festival this summer. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video, please do give it a like if you enjoyed it, and why not leave your own thoughts on the Japanese house or any other music that is connected to you on a unique and personal level in the comments down below. I hope to see you again very soon. Goodbye! <laughs> Basically, Dirty hit is all I need in my life. I'm a big fan of the 1975, Wolf Alice, and now the Japanese house. Are they just manufacturing music for me personally?